Hi, good day. Our topic for today is about harmonic sequence. So when to say that the given sequence is harmonic? Take note, harmonic sequence is called harmonic once the reciprocal of all terms are in arithmetic sequence. So let's try to find this given sequence if it is harmonic or not. So we have here example sequence. We have here the first term is one third, the second term is one over six, the third term is one over nine, and the fourth term is one over 12. Again, the very first thing to do in order for us to check whether it is harmonic or not, we have first to reciprocate all the terms. So that means one third becomes three, one six becomes six, 1 over 9 becomes 9, 1 over 12 becomes 12, and so on. So after reciprocating all the terms, we will now have, um, we will now have to find their common difference. So how to find for the common difference? We have the common difference D is equal to the preceding term minus the preceding term so that is 6 minus 3 so we have 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 so let's try to check another one we have d first is equal to 9 minus 6 is still equal to 3 and we have common difference is equal to 12 minus 9 still equal to 3 since the reciprocated terms has a common difference of 3, then we can say that this sequence is a arithmetic sequence. Therefore, since the reciprocated terms are in arithmetic sequence, then we can say that 1 over 3, 1 over 6, 1 over 9, 1 over 12, and so on is a harmonic sequence so again most of the problems that involves harmonic sequence is we always have to convert it first into arithmetic sequence so that could be all i hope you understand now how to identify harmonic sequence so let's proceed in the second example it says that 1 over 3, 1 over 6, 1 over 9, and 1 over 12, and so on, is a harmonic sequence. So let's try to find the 10th term. Again, from the previous example, we already identified the reciprocated terms of the given sequence. So we have here the reciprocal of 1 third is 3, comma, the reciprocal of 1 six is 6, Reciprocal of nine, 1 over 9 is 9, and we have here 12, and so on. And also the second step is we have to identify the common difference. So again, we identified already the common difference of this given sequence, and that is the common difference is just equal to 3. So after finding for the common difference, then we can now find the 10th term using the arithmetic sequence formula. So again, take note that the, that the arithmetic sequence formula is just equal to a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus your term position n minus 1 multiplied by your common difference d. So, but we are looking for the 10th term. That is why our n is 10. So we have a sub 10 is equal to your a sub 1 is 3 plus your term position is 10 minus 1 multiply it by your common difference which is 3 so we have to simplify 3 plus 9 multiply it by 3 so that becomes 3 plus 27 and this is just equal to 30 so therefore your a sub n is equal to 30 or your a sub 10 is equal to 30 from the arithmetic sequence. 
So how are we going to find the 10th term of the harmonic sequence? Just simply reciprocate 30. So that becomes the 10th term of the harmonic sequence is just equal to 1 over 30. So this is now our final answer. Again, take note, once we have to solve harmonic sequence problems, you always have to convert those sequence first into arithmetic sequence. Then afterwards, you only have to get the reciprocal of the term for you to be able to get the correct answer. And that is about harmonic sequence. Let's try the third example. That is... 1 third comma 1 over 7 comma 1 over 11 comma and so on so let's try to find the seventh term of the given sequence again the very first thing to do is to always get the reciprocal of each term so that is the reciprocal of 1 third is 3 the reciprocal of 1 over 7 is 7 the reciprocal of 1 over 11 is 11 and so on so after getting the reciprocals of all the terms, we are now going to find the common difference. Again, the common difference is just equal to the preceding term minus the preceding term. So if our preceding term is 7, then the preceding term of it is 3. So subtract the two numbers, that is 4. So let's try to check another terms. So we have difference is equal to if our preceding term is 11 the preceding term is 7 subtract the two numbers then that is 4 therefore the common difference of the given arithmetic sequence or of the given reciprocated terms is equal to 4 so after finding for the common difference we are now going to find for the seventh term of your arithmetic sequence so that is a sub 7 is equal to a sub 1 plus your term position n minus 1 multiply it by your common difference so we have your a sub 1 is 3 plus your n is 7 because this is the term that we are looking for minus 1 multiplied by your common difference 4 so next thing is simplify 3 plus 7 minus 1 is 6 multiply it by 4 then you have to multiply the two numbers 3 plus 6 times 4 makes 24 then you have to add the two numbers that is 27 therefore the seventh term of your arithmetic sequence is 27 but we are looking for the seventh term of the harmonic sequence so what are you going to do okay very good you only have to get the reciprocal of it to find the seventh term so we have so the seventh term of your harmonic sequence is just equal to 1 over 27 then this is now our final answer so let us proceed in the last example that we have about harmonic sequence so in the harmonic sequence 1 third 1 over 8 1 over 13 1 over 18 which term is 1 over 123 so from what is asked which term then we are looking for the term position n of the given term 1 over 123. Again, as to what I have said, the very first step to do is to always get the reciprocal of all the terms in the harmonic sequence. So we have the reciprocal of 1 third is 3. The reciprocal of 1 8 is 8. We have 13, 18 and so on until 123 so after finding for the reciprocated terms from the harmonic sequence we are now going to find for the common difference 
So the common difference is equal to if your preceding term is 8, subtract it by 3, that is 5. Let's try to check another terms. If your common difference, if your preceding term is 13, subtract it by 8, and that is just equal to 5. Therefore, the common difference of the given arithmetic sequence is equal to 5. So after finding for the common difference, let's proceed in the third step. That is, finding the unknown variable that is the term position using the arithmetic formula. So we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus your term position n minus 1 multiplied by your common difference. So, our a sub n is 123 because this is the last term that we have in the given arithmetic sequence. So, 123 is equal to your first term that is equal to 3 plus the term position is the variable that we are going to find minus 1 multiplied by your common difference 5. So you have to simplify. We have 123 is equal to 3 plus, so you have to do distributive property. So distribute 5 to n, distribute 5 to negative 1. So that is plus 5n minus 5. So do the operation. 123 is equal to 5n minus 2. So you have to apply addition property of equality, add both sides by positive 2. So we have 123 plus, 100 plus 2 is equal to 5n because negative 2 plus 2 makes 0. So we have 125 is equal to 5n. So we have to find for the value of n by distributive property of equality. So divide both this by 5, divide this one by 5, therefore your n is equal to 25. Since your n is equal to 25, therefore we can say that therefore One over one hundred twenty three is in the twenty fifth term of the given sequence. Again, there's no need for you to get the reciprocal form because we are only looking for the term position. So you only have to reciprocate your term once you have to look for a specific term of the given harmonic sequence and that is all about harmonic sequence i hope that we've learned something about this and if you have some questions so feel free to ask me